we have some window shades, some vents, some window chops. A friend called me and said, hey, do you have some of your guys' Whistler built window shade chops, six inch for the um, cab and sleeper? And I said, yes, yes I do. He goes, well, I need them done in a couple weeks from now. Can you paint them and send them out? And I said, sure. And just like in true Josh fashion, <laughs> I forgot to paint them and send them out. So he needs them this week. So we're gonna paint them this week and we're gonna get them done and get them shipped to him. And I figured since I'm on a time crunch, it's no better time to, you know, video me working than when I'm in a rush. That's the only upside about this whole job is now that it's a rush job, I can charge him more. <laughs> Sanding's done. I'll probably wipe these off one more time and then hit them with some etch primer. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna paint the back sides of these all black black. I, I etch primed everything. I'm gonna probably put some sealer over it now, put some flat black on the back side. I prefer to see flat black over the color of the truck in your face all the time. Oh well, yeah, well it shouldn't be what you prefer. What if the customer wanted to see that color right in his face? Maybe you should have asked him. Maybe you should have consulted with him instead of going after your feelings. Well, if that were so, he should have told me before I started painting. But he didn't. So I'm gonna do what I do, okay? If he didn't like what, if he didn't like what I do, what, if, he, if he preferred not to see the things that I do, he'd be at a different shop getting it painted. But he's not, I'm painting it, all right? So deal with that. It feels kind of wrong sanding out a brand new steering wheel. And no, this is not for this guy. This is for one of our trucks. And we're also gonna paint this and put this steering wheel together in this video. So you definitely wanna stick around to the end. I mean, why wouldn't you wanna stick around to the end? To see something that I totally destroyed, a brand new steering wheel. But it makes it so much better. Oh yeah, that's good and stuff. Comment down below what color you believe this is going to be and you'll win absolutely nothing if you're right. So here it is. All the toners are in here. Um, I started making a video of me pouring the toners in and it just didn't work out. So here it is before I stir it up. People oftentimes wonder how I'm able to get so much done. Um, well, that's because I'm always multitasking. While I'm waiting on those to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this. You guys aren't gonna see me paint this because this video is not about this, all right? But it will be about it when I go to install it. Just because I'm gonna let you guys watch me, whatever. I'm not gonna have any dead spots on it. I figured out a way to um, rig up my saw horses to hold it in place. It's barely snagging the lip right there so as long as there's a little bit of tension on it it should be fine now if that tension all of a sudden disappears not only will it probably fall down and ruin my paint job but it probably break it so 
We're just gonna hope for the best here, guys. Let's get back to paint these bench shades. And now we're ready for some clear coat. I think these turned out really nice. We're gonna go ahead and stick some double-sided tape on the back side after I pull the tape off and wrap them up to ship them out. Are you guys ready for the color reveal? This is gonna be interesting because I forgot my tripod and I don't feel like going back in the shop in the rain, but there it is. It's for our green truck here. I'm gonna try and balance my phone so you guys can watch me um, installing the screws on this thing this is a really cool steering wheel it's made by sci but this um just comes out the back with um some wood screws so yeah and it was wood grain but we didn't like the wood grain because it was dark and it didn't match the dash so i just painted it to match the truck which i think looks really good all right here we go There it is, guys. I think it turned out really nice. Um, it's nice because the steering wheel has like um, a billet aluminum insert, I guess is what you'd call this. Like the spokes and everything are all one piece and the back has like ribs all the way around it. It's not like your average um, slippery wooden steering wheel that your knee's gonna slip off of all the time. There's actually grips under there. So yeah, if you're somebody that's interested in having grips on the bottom this one does my dad doesn't like the solid wooden ones because they're too slippery he likes the leather wrapped ones but for um trucks that i'm gonna be working on that other drivers will be driving i really don't like the um leather ones because obvious reasons they just soak everything in it's just It is now the next day. These things are cured enough that I could mess with them. I pulled all the tape off the back and I added some one inch double-sided 3M tape to them so the customer can just stick them right on his door. Um, yeah, I think these turned out really nice. Hopefully they match. I went off of this code. Normally if I have a truck here, I'll, I'll punch in the code, I'll mix up the paint and then I'll go out and I'll like shade it lighter or darker the paint on how faded or how um, drunk the guy was mixing the paint at the truck painting place. Anyways, these are Rissler built. We make these. Um, if you want any of these, we ship out truck parts daily. Go to Rissler Built LLC on Facebook um, and you can pick up yourself a set of these. If you give me your paint code, I would also paint them. Remember to um, be very descriptive whether you want it flat black on the back side or the whole thing paint it, or if you just want to buy them in raw aluminum form. Anyways, 
I think these turn out nice. I'm gonna go ahead and double side tape the rest of these up. We'll be running one inch tape on the front ones, and then on these back ones on the Peterbilt, they only hit like this little sliver of a um, weather seal or whatever you wanna call it. So I'll probably just run some quarter inch. Um, anyways, like, subscribe, comment, whatever. See me in the next video if you want to, I don't know.